Francois Truffaut's story of a troubled teenage girl in post-war France. is from France. It's called The Little Thief, and it has an interesting pedigree. When the late Francois Truffaut made his new wave film, The 400 Blows, in 1959, it originally was supposed to be about a boy and a girl. Well, the film, of course, ended up being only about the boy. And now, 30 years later, using a story that Truffaut had long wanted to shoot himself, we finally get the girl's movie. Her name is Janine, and she's a rebellious little thief, a 16-year-old living in France in 1950. She's sent away from home after being arrested for stealing from the church, and the little thief, to its credit, does not romanticize that young woman. She has some exciting adventures, but the film makes it plain that she is quite miserable until at the end when she becomes more life-affirming, more willing not to grab for immediate pleasure. This picture, however, is not in the same class as other recent films we've seen about young French women on their own coming of age, such pictures as Vagabond. If Truffaut had lived, he might have made this film a little bit darker, I think. As directed by Claude Miller, with a script by some other people, the story of a lost youth seems too familiar and really not distinctive. I can't recommend The Little Thief, despite a strong performance by Charlotte Gainsbourg in the title role. I was disappointed, too, and the thing that disappointed me was the tra trajectory of the movie, because it seemed to me that what we were missing was really the sense that this girl was changing. And the first shot of the movie, she's already a thief. Mm -hmm. She continues to be a thief throughout the movie, Just the and you can see that what she's doing is she's, her feeling is, if I can steal something and give it to somebody that I love, I can buy their love in that way. Well, it doesn't work that way, but she doesn't really find that out until right at the end of the movie. Now, obviously, the key event in her life is when she's given a camera. Camera. And with this camera, she is now going to become a photographer. That could kind of symbolize what happened to Truffaut, right, he was whose life as a young juvenile delinquent was redeemed by his love of the movies. But what they do in this film is they give you the whole bad period of this girl's life, and then right at the end, they just put some words up on the screen saying after she got the camera, after then all she right. stole was the images of other people. Now that's something Truffaut used to do too, where he would give you the rest of the story in a little title at the end of the film, and it used to irritate me then too, because it seems to me that that belongs in the film, that that's part of the film, and they had less of the thieving and more of the redemption so that you saw the entire span of this girl's experience, it would have been a better well, movie. Well, I, I, I want to say that I, I don't think the film is tough enough on, on her life in the beginning either. Mm -hmm. um, we, you know, I, I realize this is 1950, but it's, <laughs> it, the, the picture's set in 1950, but um, I, I think that her life should have been a little more harsh than we were actually shown. It seems to want to just have fun with the romance, uh, her, her little affairs in some way, and I think uh, the world's a little harder than that. I think that the 400 Blows was actually harder. It was, it was cruel what was happening yeah. to him, and, and with her it's a little bit sugar-coated. If there is one thing you can say for the movie, though, it is sort of a last postcard from Truffaut, who wrote a 45-page treatment for the story, who might have made a different movie from it, for all we know. I suspect but he would have. Been. We sure do miss him, that's for sure. Two more negative votes for The Little Thief, the story of a troubled French girl based on the last project of Francois Truffaut.